Hey Taurus, this is your weekly reading for the week of September 16th through the 22nd. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. See what message spirit has for you during this time. Oh, okay. Some interesting messages, messages here. I got the majority of your card shuffled, pre-shuffled for you, okay? Let's shuffle this deck. See what message is coming in. What else do you have here for Taurus? September 16th through the 22nd. Hope all you guys are doing well out there, taking care of yourself. Okay. Let's see what's coming out. Hmm. Feel stuck. A lot of your potential is stuck, or you're stuck right now. Maybe in your life that won't last for long. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit is wanting you to get excited, possibly about something brand new. Yeah, a lot of butterflies coming in. So usually butterflies take a rest when it is raining, when it's storming, so their wings don't get wet. You guys may have had to take a break on things that you were trying to create here, Taurus, in your life. Uh, due to the environment, uh, society, okay, government, opportunities dwindling, let's just be real, you may have had to stop um, and you weren't able to move forward, uh, but this feeling of being stuck here, Eight of Swords is showing up for you, you have the Eight of Swords, Queen of Wands, and the Seven of Cups is showing up for you, let's go ahead and address mentally what's happening. Mentally, the Eight of Swords is representing you, okay? A lot of you guys, like I said, you're feeling like things aren't moving forward. You're stuck in a rut. You're trapped, restricted, victimized, paralyzed, feeling hopeless, okay? I can't move past whatever this is. A lot of you guys may be feeling imprisoned or powerless. Here, what do you have to say to Taurus coming in here, Spirit? Oh, okay. So there's a big chance for you guys to have a breakthrough and I'm seeing it in this row. But you still have, I feel, um, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. It feels like you may have picked up some habits here towards. Picked up some habits that you need to put down or picked up a relationship <laughs> that you're try it's time to put it down, okay? It's time to walk away from it, possibly. You have the Two of Cups, Clarifying the Eight of Swords energy that is coming in. Some of you guys feel uh, trapped in a relationship, in a contract. You're wanting to be released. You're wanting to be freed from whatever this is. I'm feeling that with the Eight of Swords. You may have felt like things were going right. There was mutual respect and understanding. Uh, you didn't want to give up on a relationship or a person, but you're finding out that it's very challenging to hold on to something or to someone. Okay, <clears throat> your spirit guides are wanting you to connect with them. Maybe for guidance here, that's what's showing up for you here, okay, in this row. Connect with your ancestors at this time. They may have an important message for you here, uh, Taurus, um, to help you move in a different direction or to just uplift your confidence or reassure you that it's okay to move because I feel like there is a transition that needs to happen. The Eight of Swords is self-imprisonment. We do it to ourselves. We get stuck in a mindset. We get stuck in situations. We get stuck in relationships. We feel like we're stuck, helpless, victimized, paralyzed, okay? But always the Eight of Swords, when it shows up in your reading, it is our mind that hasn't caught up to our, our bodies. Maybe you're acting different, okay? Acting different at work. <laughs> Maybe you're acting different in a relationship because you feel like it's got you in a position or a place where you're not wanting to be. And now your body, okay, may be acting different. Your body language may, and I'm saying this for some reason, your body language you may have a resting bitch face, let me put it like that, and <laughs> it keeps people away, or you have, um, you're very closed off, all right, or you keep distance between you and other people. You don't allow people to come into your personal space. 
any longer or the way that you used to, you're kind of put off. Okay, that's something that I'm feeling. But I feel like it's with in a particular setting or with a particular person that you're doing this with here. Maybe a lot more people, but um, they're saying you don't have to do this. I'm feeling like you don't have to do this, okay? Uh, you can still freely, Taurus, be who you want to be. You need to be that. Um, and be open uh, to bring in uh, changes into your life, okay? Like I said, it feels like a transition. And they're wanting you to be confident enough, be bold enough with the Queen of Wands. You're very intuitive, Taurus, as well. So your intuition is on point always with the Queen of Wands. And her black cat, she's very intuitive. So trust your intuition right now at this moment. Because whatever you're headed towards with the Six of Wands, you will be victorious. You will uh, free yourself. It's all about freedom for you. It's all about freedom. That's what I'm getting here. Freeing yourself from something, someone, um, from yourself, okay, freeing yourself from yourself, all right, self-limiting beliefs that you may have, that's what I mean by freeing yourself, getting rid of those self-limiting beliefs, um, and stepping into a new you, stepping into a new energy, okay, um, using resources around you or building up your confidence, okay, by, be, uh, creating, um, more intimate relationship with oneself two of cups okay mentally you need to do that that's what they're saying physically you need to take action that's what they're saying with this queen of wands and six of wands wands is all about action taking action taking action spirit is saying what a wonderful experience for you your projects will totally be successful whatever you're thinking about putting your energy into not that you're stuck you're not capable this is not going right. That is not going. Sometimes I feel it also the fool is not here, but it should be like you need to take a leap of faith. Six of swords is here. That's close enough. OK, uh, but you're needing to go out there. Take action. Knight of swords is sitting here as well. Take action here. OK, um, they're saying uh, that your projects will be a total success, bringing awards, promotions or other recognition for your efforts, efforts, okay? Not your negative thinking, but your efforts. So physically, you have to get out there and do something. Um, and they're saying if you do this, it will be a job well done and you will reap the benefits here as well, okay? Say yes to the change, physical changes, as well as mental changes that need to happen because you also have the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Swords that's showing up for you here. Uh, as far as your spirituality goes, okay? So you have great vision. That's what spirit is letting me know, but you need to focus on making clear decisions and using discernment with the seven of cups and not falling into illusions or daydreams um, or not taking action. Because sometimes when the seven of cups shows up, we're not taking action, okay, Taurus? We are only dreaming about what we want to do, but our actions show us that we're doing something different, okay? So both your head, your mind, your heart, your body needs to be in alignment here, okay? Ace of Swords is cutting out anything that doesn't serve you. Also, um, moving clearly with a clear mind, okay? Your spirit guides connect with your ancestors. That's going to help you, okay? Some of you guys need to do a burning ritual, Create yourself or buy yourself a burning bowl. Get a pot <laughs> out of your house. I do that. <laughs> One pot that you're not going to use. And do a burning ritual. Burning bowl ritual here. This could be for things that you want or things that you are ready to release. And you throw it into the fire. Okay. So this angel is coming up here in your reading. Saying that you will have new ideas. Brilliant new ideas which is truly inspired uh for your betterment it's important to communicate clearly towards at this time and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of your ideas don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way hence why we have the eight of swords there are merely those challenges are merely course corrections to perfect your plan. Don't get caught up in your mind. 
okay, in your feelings or in your head. That's what they're letting you know. Some of you guys, whoo, whoo, my goodness, you see what it solves. You see what it solves, okay? That's a little explicit. <laughs> um, that could have you all up in your head too. It could be someone that you're dealing with. I'm seeing this person here as well. They could have you really up in your head, not really focus on what you need to achieve right now. That will come, okay? Maybe love. Love is showing up, got you kerfuffled right now. Got you confused. The sex is too good. Something like that, Taurus. It's got you stuck. But maybe it's a toxic relationship here that you need to let go of, but the sex is too good. Maybe. maybe. Maybe for some of you guys, that's it. Or maybe if you're single, you don't have anyone and you haven't had that intimate time with anyone or you're not having it. Maybe it is something that is inside of you that's saying, that's saying that you need it. You need it right now. The spirit is saying, not this week, okay? <laughs> Take care of yourself. Not this week, okay? And probably not this person. How about you just focus on forward movement? Some, someone's toxic. You're in some toxic situation. Someone's toxic, okay? That's coming in another row. Let's go to the second row here. You guys have a Wheel of Fortune that is showing up for you. The Page of Wands and the Eight of Cups, which tells me that you're moving that way, somewhere over there, or you need to move that way. The Wheel of Fortune is forward movement. You moving on, you focusing on change, okay? This is what you need to embrace, change. Here, Taurus, a new cycle is beginning for you. Are you ready? Are you ready at this time? Luck, fortune, and unexpected events is showing up for you here with this Wheel of Fortune. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. Yeah. Oh, it's something about love. It's something about a relationship here this week that's going to have you in your head or in your heart heavily, okay? Uh, you have the uh, messenger of emotion that's showing up for you. So it's all about this, the matters of the heart. So this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. You may receive a message here, and that's the Two of Cups that's showing up as well, mentally, okay? Over here. But the <laughs> there's something about this connection, okay? Mentally, what came out for you was the Eight of Swords. You wanna be caught up like that? Tied up, mentally, in a connection? Like someone's got, it's going to be like a relationship that is, I feel, I know what the card says, but it feels kind of unhealthy. Like someone is trying to merge with you in a very unhealthy way because they don't have their own thing going on here, Taurus. So they kind of want to crawl up in your skin and kind of like morph into you. And it's like, ew, <laughs> okay, no one likes that. All right. So... You may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing with someone. This could even be a friend, someone that is showing themselves as a friend but really wants to be a lover. You guys can receive a social invitation soon. It may be on its way, but there's a person in your midst here, okay? Um, that isn't fully, fully telling you that they want to move the relationship that they have with you to the next level. Some of you guys, it may be that they just want this, okay? It may be uh, infatuation or they just want this, okay? That's what they want at this time. Let's see. <laughs> Someone may be coming to you, asking for forgiveness, expressing... Um, Regret, okay? This could be a past person for some of you guys here. That's what I feel. Because in this row, you also have the Five of Pentacles. Well, the Five of Wands and the Page of Wands that's showing up for you. It could be someone here that uh, wants your attention. They've already burnt you once here. And they want your forgiveness. Forgiveness is for you. You may forgive others and yourself. That's what it says. Just because you forgive someone, though, 
doesn't mean that you need to start a relationship with them. The focus needs to be on you. But Spirit is saying forgiveness, okay, is for you. Forgive others and yourself because your soul deserves peace. So someone's coming with an apology towards you. This may be someone you know. I don't think it's someone new. It's someone that you know already, okay? But this Page of Wands and this Five of Wands that's, that's coming in for you, Spirit is encouraging you, okay, to assert yourself. Be assertive. Uh, right now at this time, this is a time for you guys to embrace and focus on because that's what this card is. It's in that position of what you need to focus on. Focus on new opportunities and new passion. New opportunities and new passion. Creatively, romantically, friendship-wise. It's someone new, something new, a new chapter, a new energy, a new vibe. You need to get excited about that. Fresh new ideas, okay? That's what I feel um, they're wanting you to really put your energy into, okay? Not focusing on what someone has done to you and now they want to apologize and swoop back in and see if it, whoever is doing this here Taurus didn't find what they were looking for when they left when they disrespected you to begin with okay this could also be someone that's coming into your life that's new and this is going to develop over time that this person really uh, whoever this is they're wearing a mask but they're that mask is going to come off so quick yes the mass is going to come off very quick with Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. You're going to see this person for who they truly are very quickly. Okay, so whether you're communicating with them online or in person, you're going to get the real person. Okay, um, very quickly. So don't move too quickly in your relationships here this week. Um, because you may just be meeting a representative of someone. All right. Your angels want you to know that you that your current challenge pushes you to be assertive and self-confident, just like the Queen of Wands. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position, your values, your uh, beliefs. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama into your life because you have better things to do, okay? Uh, especially if someone's bringing drama into your life or they don't like that you are making decisions, you're saying no, you have boundaries, you have standards. Because someone's going to try to test you here this week, Taurus. That's what I feel. Today is your day. Positive affirmations. Stay on that, that wave link, okay? Using positive affirmations every day can change your life. Being optimistic and positive is going to help you. In this row, you guys also have the Eight of Cups and you have the Messenger of Abundance here, okay? So, um, a saying, this is what I'm feeling. It, maybe you guys left a situation, you left it alone. You've, you've walked away from a situation or a person already, okay? Because this is telling me about something you released. This is in the position of what you're releasing or what you've released already. I just heard spirit saying, keep going, okay? Because someone wants you to turn around and turn into a pillar of salt. That's what it is, okay? And you don't need to do that, all right? Let go of attachments and move on. And be in search of greener pastures or things that are going to make you happy, okay? This is what this Eight of Cups is letting me know. Maybe you've left it already, left something, left someone. Let some situation go here and you need to stay on that path. Where that path is actually taking you, some of you guys haven't met, uh, you haven't reached that destination yet of uh, financial security or independence, okay, in your life. Some of you guys haven't reached that part quite yet, but Things are taking off for you, okay? Wherever you've gone, whatever you decided to do. Maybe it's taken some years to get there, okay? Look at the economy. Shit is taking years to get done, okay? <laughs> and this timeline is taking forever, right? To get anything done. Um, but it's something that's coming up for you here. Like you're going to be met with something with a uh, messenger of abundance. So some wonderful news is coming in regarding your career. 
A new job or promotion acceptance into an excellent school may come into your life. You may get an opportunity to study or, or apprentice under someone, learn something new, learn a new skill. Page of Wands that's coming up for you as well. Make sure you're taking action, that you're open up. You're open, your heart is open, your mind is open to something new and release everything and leave things behind that you walked away from for a reason. All right? That's what they're letting us know at this time. If you ever get confused, love, okay? Some of you guys just need some TLC. Take some time to, for yourself to think, to reassess, reevaluate, get a massage, take care of you. You deserve to be pampered, Taurus. Make an appointment this week at my shop. The next row that's coming in, you guys have the sneaky little devil energy. So this could be temptation. That's what I feel here. Some temptation or even, like I said, some habits that have been formed by you um, that needs to be evaluated and released at this time. Okay, It could be temptations in love. It could be resentment in a relationship. It could be materialism in your career or control from someone at a job or place where you work. Okay, that's what I'm saying here as well interesting card that is coming up you need some time for you that's what i'm seeing here in this row you guys have the devil card the six of swords and you also have the knight of swords they're saying don't walk run away from whatever this is it's something that you're doing or some some other crap someone's bringing to your to your attention that don't need to be there okay this is finances you guys could be spending away too much putting yourself in debt you're emotionally spending here, Taurus, thinking it's going to make you feel better if this is your finances, all right? Um, it's interesting that this is coming in this position of optimism. What do you need to be optimistic about here? Some of you guys may be optimistic about someone new coming into your life you may be very excited but i'm going to caution you okay to read this person's heart to read between the lines okay they're very different than what they're displaying themselves to be you understand what i'm saying you have the hermit card and you also have the devil card two major arcana cards this person you, could put you back in a dark place for some reason okay because clarifying that card, you guys have sadness. It could bring you back to that place, a place that you fought to get out of, and you don't need to be there, all right? Shed the tears from your heart. Let sadness fuel your ambition. Make the most of your regrets. Didn't I just say something about regrets here? You've gone through a lot of lessons here, okay, with this hermit card. Lessons of the heart, lessons in life. Spirit is wanting you to use moments of solitude to focus on yourself, loving yourself, nurturing and pampering and taking care of yourself. That's why they're saying use positive affirmation, forgive others as well as forg forgiving yourself because your soul deserves it. Not because they deserve it, because you deserve it. Your soul deserves it. Pamper yourself, get a massage, <laughs> set an appointment to go get your hair done, to do something that makes you feel good and, and really protect the beauty that you're creating inside of yourself here, okay? I think they're telling you to do this because you have uh, so many more important things to uh, express to the world, to show the world. That's what you need to get excited about, having the opportunity to do that. Okay, pessimism, pessimist. <laughs> okay, hmm. six of swords coming in and a win-win solution. Maybe you try to compromise with someone, but maybe the relationship, you and this person or in this situation, okay, was just too different. And there is no compromising with someone that's not ready to go grow with you. You have a lot of butterflies showing up for you. You have the ripple effect and you have different that is showing up for you as well. You're evolving and someone else is not. You try to find a solution, but you're finding yourself trapped in a situation with someone that is not interested in change here. 
So you may be putting yourself, you may be compromising a little bit too much and it's affecting your life. So you're, I feel like some of you guys are really pissed. Maybe because per, mm, momentum have slowed down in your life here, okay? Usually the Six of Swords tells me that you're moving on to calmer waters. You're moving towards a better state of mind and a better place here. Um... But I feel like the company you're keeping in this room may be affecting you. That's what's affecting you here, okay? You have to be very selective. You have the Knight of Swords and also the Three of Wands that's coming in towards you. The outcome for you here is to focus on being driven with this Knight of Swords. Act with speed and precision towards your vision, your dreams. And if you do that, you'll be able to build upon your successes. That's what I feel with the three of wands showing up for you. It's like dropping a, a pebble in the water and you get this ripple effect. You only have to start and you'll see things start to expand and grow over time. Be willing to do that. Even a small act of movement and focus can make a difference at this time on what you're trying to change in your life. Spirit is saying you can impact your surroundings. Don't underestimate the little things that you can do to make a change in your life, okay? Let's see, your next row, you guys have the Eight of Wands that is showing up for you. You have the Knight of Pentacles and you have the <laughs> King of Cups. Jeez. King of Cups is showing up for you. Interesting. Let's see what this Eight of, so Eight of Wands is. Eight of Wands, we're gonna clarify that first. It wants to let me know you're ready to get going. You're ready to move in a different direction. You can definitely find your happiness there and you will. Ten of Pentacles, excuse me, Ten of Cups, Three of Pentacles, that's showing up for you, and the Eight of Wands. So I feel like in regards to what you want, um, you want love, you want a family. You want to be blessed with a loving family, a great partner, either business or romantic. You want happiness. That's what you want, okay? Um, you want harmony in your connections and your relationships. You want unconditional love. It's hard to get that from some people. Some people give it, okay? But usually there's conditions. <laughs> So, and if someone you're dealing with, there is conditions. Like, we can just be, uh, you could be my side piece. That's condition, because they have someone else. Careful. I just heard that energy with this card. Coming in here, the devil card as well. Two of cups. Knight of cups, okay? And you're like, I want someone that is mine. I don't want to be seduced. Because all in this row, it keeps coming up with cups. Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups. I know you want better connections, better relationships. You want a loving partner here, okay? And that's what you want. You want to expand right now your life in ways that make you feel fulfilled at this time. But what do you need at this time? You have the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> you need to slow down, basically, and be committed to yourself, uh, working on your spirituality here, listening to your intuition when it's urging you to think twice about things that you may be agreeing to. You have the moon card as well. Because I feel with the moon card, a lot of times there could be things that are hidden that you're not seeing. Spirit is saying your intuition and insight, your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now. So you can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction. You can, but are you going to listen to your gut instincts? 
<laughs> so you guys may feel like uh, this person don't want anything and you may really you may be right okay because you have this different card that is showing up for you i have to take a look at it here okay differences affecting this situation so you're very different from someone here and i feel like that's why your guides are telling you to slow down slow down with the knight of pentacles okay that is showing up for you you may be very reliable hard working um goal oriented okay you're a go-getter here taurus and this person may not be like that okay you may find yourself really stuck on someone or stuck with someone that really um may not be on your level okay so you guys have the king of cups that is showing up for you in regards to what you need to celebrate you need to celebrate I, I feel like this king of cups is you you need to celebrate that you are a wise person that you are emotionally mature celebrate the fact that you <laughs> you do have good values good morals um, and be devoted okay to remaining that way you have the messenger of action that's showing up so spirit is saying that something new and exciting is coming into your life It's related to creativity in your career here um, and your attention needs to flow there your attention needs to flow there some of you guys um, may be a little hesitant to do that but they're saying you need to do it anyway all right move into a new area of your life move on to doing something that uh, really suits you <laughs> or doing someone that really suits you whatever supporting these cards you guys have the queen representing you okay king queen just says queen spirit is saying that you radiate the regal feminine and you use your benevolent bene benevolent authority to protect others okay don't try to connect yourself with people who are uh controlling and demanding okay you guys have the full card for this row that's showing up don't play the full here Taurus for anyone uh, this card is saying though <clears throat> they don't want you to deny your emotional truths don't hide them here I told you there was someone I feel like there's actually someone in your life I told you someone's wearing a mask is going to come off very quickly there it is they're full. <laughs> You're playing with the full here this week. Don't play with this full, okay? Someone has full energy or they're just a damn full, okay? Don't be afraid to fearlessly reveal your emotions here uh, this week and cut a person off smooth. You guys have a mystic card. I told you you're very intuitive. Rebels in intimate union with the divine that's what you need to do this is your reading here taurus i hope you guys got a message from this reading leave me a comment let me know how you feel about this reading here uh check out your moon your rising and your venus sign if you would like to do that to get additional information on this week how it's going to play out for you make sure you guys give this reading a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell loves and i'll see you guys in your next one take care bye